welcome back to a vintage vanity. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the sewing. We are going to machine baste this. So you're going to make sure that your stitch length is set to four. And I'm going to run that base stitch at um, half of an inch. You want to make sure that all your gathers stay in place and also the form of the neckline stays in place. And there we go, we have our base stitch on the neckline. So there we go, we have our neckline stitched to the tearaway stabilizer. And another reason why it has us use a, this, a stabilizer is that if we were doing this gathering, we wouldn't have anything to stitch to. So the stabilizer is there. To, to provide stability of the neckline, but also to give us something to gather and stitch to. Now we are going to remove the stabilizer. So essentially we are just going to tear the stabilizer. So just go ahead and make sure that you're putting your finger on top of your stitch because you definitely don't want to pull it out. And then just begin to rip the stabilizer. And you're going to do that all the way around until you remove um, all of the stabilizer. We're going to take piece number five which is the neck binding and we're going to stitch stitch the ends together with a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay and then where that seam allowance is I'm just going to take my pinking shears once again and just cut down the length. So I went ahead and that section that we stitched I went ahead and pressed that open and now we are going to turn in our seam allowances. Now we're going to turn in the seam allowances on the side that doesn't have the notches cut into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold that down. And pin it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the pinning all the way around the neck and then I will be right back. Okay, so our neck binding is all pinned up with a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now what we're going to do is we are going to press this down and then trim this seam allowance to a quarter of an inch, which is why I pinned really close to the fold. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now our edge is um, cut to a quarter of an inch and I also used the pinking shears again to help minimize any fraying. So we're going to take our bodice and we're going to turn it right side out. And then we're going to take our neck binding and turn it inside out. So the first thing that we're going to do And so we're just going to lay our bodice out nice and straight. You're going to find your notches. That is going to indicate that that's the front. So you're going to, you are going to line up the edge that is not folded over with the edge of your gathered fabric. You're going to match up the centers and pin. Now be sure when you pin, you're just pinning through the uh, fabric for the front. You don't want to pin through to the back. And then I'm just going to place in a couple pins as we're going around the neckline. You don't want to place too many in because you want to make sure you match up the neckline with the back. Now that we're pinned on the center, I'm going to actually go ahead and take out the rest of the pins that are along that line that we just trimmed just because that is pressed down now and I just wanted to keep them in so that you knew which edge to not pin. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gently just going to fold over the back of the fabric so I can match up my center back as well. Now that my center back is matched up, I want to match up my shoulders. So to do that, we're going to fold everything back out again. And what's good 
is that the left shoulder we have that seam that we already stitched on the neck binding so that will match up with the seam of the shoulder of our dress. And then I'm going to go ahead and pin down the rest of the neck binding. We, the neck binding was cut um, on the bias, which means it has a lot more stretch to it. So go ahead and don't, don't be afraid if you need to, to stretch that neck binding and make it actually fit all around the neckline. Okay, I know this is probably this is probably a little hard to see, but this is the front of the bodice. And I have pinned the uh, neck binding to the edge of the bodice. So this is the right side of the fabric and this is the wrong side. So when you peel that back, it's right side to right side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance on this and then I'm going to be right back. Okay, so our stitch is now in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pinking shears and we're going to trim this seam here where it's all ratty. We're going to trim that to a quarter of an inch above the seam, so right about where this, this finger is. We're going to trim about a quarter of an inch above the seam. We're going to use our pinking shears to do so, so as to eliminate some of this fraying. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you have this seam that you just clipped, and then you're going to press it towards that, the binding. So this is the rest of our bodice, and this is the binding up here. So you're going to press it towards the binding. Now the instructions get a little confusing, but what you're going to do is you're going to open up the seam you pressed earlier and wrap it around the seam you just trimmed. You're going to do that all around the neckline. Then what you're going to do is you're going to roll that neckline over. So essentially you're going to fold that section in half. And then you're going to pin it. Then once we're done tucking, rolling, and pinning all around the neckline, we're going to go ahead and do a slip, slip stitch on this. So when you flip the dress over, you should see a nice little uh, trim around the neckline. If um, you didn't do the roll over, you'd end up with a really large trim around the neckline, which just looks wrong to me. And plus, if you do it, if you don't do that roll, you won't be able to do a traditional slip stitch, which is what the directions call for. So the neckline is all slip stitched. So if you turn it over, you don't see the stitching line. So yeah, I think that looks nice. Yeah, that's good. It's a nice little night, uh, neat binding on the edge. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And as always, any other comments or tips you have, go ahead and share them in the comment section below. And a quick and easy way to let me know that you like this sewing series is to click the like thumbs up button right down there. That's always a help. And if you don't want to miss a minute of what's going on here on a Vintage Vanities, you might want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Completely free. Subscribe! Alright, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon.